forget that opera has everything I love. Romance, costumes, people singing instead of talking. What I don't get is why I don't get it. Penny, great! It's an emergency! Is Matt invading with the robotic land shark? Or did you set fire to the bathroom? Yes, to the bathroom. But the real emergency is recording the perfect voicemail greeting for my newly updated gadget phone. Does anyone even use voicemail anymore? Oh, my first call. Hi, Chief. You're on speakerphone. Say something funny. I would, Gadget. But your latest mission is no laughing matter. Mad is using drones of silence to mute opera. HQ believes it's the first step to silencing the world. Your mission? Head to the world-famous opera house in Australia. That's right, Perth. Huh? You must protect Sheila Chanson, the last opera singer with a voice. <laughs> this message will self-destruct. This mission is of the utmost importance. If people can't talk, how will they leave me voicemails? Go, go, Gadget G Portal. Oh. Uh, how about we take the gadget mobile? My drones of silence are a silent success. First opera singers, then the world. <laughs> you know, Mad could just silence everyone at once. So why target the opera? And why does Mad Cat get to pilot all the drones? Because she's the one who had the piloting lessons. As for the opera, I hate it. It makes me feel things. Fine, but let's return to the cat piloting the drones for a sec. If you really want this job done right, you should let a brilliant and disturbingly handsome agent like me... Let me do this, not Mad Cat! Very well. You can control one drone while Mad Cat prepares the rest. But if you fail to silence Sheila's chanson within the hour, all control returns to Mad Cat. <laughs> ah, Australia. Home to 12 of the 10 deadliest animals in the world. And amazing acoustics. Making it the perfect place to record my voicemail greeting. You've reached Inspector... <coughs> Excuse me. Go, go, Gadget. Glass of water. Inspector oh. oh, Gadget! Wowzers! I didn't know Vikings had invaded Australia. This changes history as we know it. Sheila Chanson? Oh, well, I'm just happy as a root to see you. The pleasure is all mine, madam. I assure you, you're safe in my hands. It's an honor to meet you, Miss Chanson. I'm a big fan. Or at least I'm trying really hard to be. Now I've got me the best protection down under. Inspector Gadget. So push off, you yummos! I may be the world's best inspector, detective, bodyguard, and lawn mower, but I still need a little help with some things, like recording voicemail greetings. Would a voice expert extraordinaire such as yourself mind giving me some pointers? Oh, that would be completely... Mad! There's nothing mad about it, Penny. Miss Chanson's a world-class singer who's really excited to get started with the voice lessons. I love the smell of my own awesomeness in the morning. Brain, stay here. I'm gonna make Talon sing Sweet Surrender. What's that? You want me to look inside the mouth of a professional? What an intriguing first lesson. Go, go, Gadget, tongue depressor. Fascinating. I never expected a diva's breath to smell like dog food. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but I'd totally silence Chanson, and I would have gotten Gadget, too, if... <laughs> well, yeah, but what does that matter? Mission accomplished. You fool! The mission is always get Gadget! <clears throat> you might want to mute that. How about I give you the silent treatment instead? <laughs> <laughs> Why is a loud 
loud mouth like you muting everyone. Do you love the sound of your own voice that much? One, yes. Two, think fast. <laughs> now, to shut Gadget up for good. Later. <laughs> Miss Chanson, you have nothing to fear. This is a safe space. To give me an honest critique of my greeting. Here's what I've got so far. <clears throat> You've reached the voicemail of Inspector Gadget. You're right. It could use more emotion. Go, go, Gadget, method acting. Oh, the key is breath control. What a great tip. Well, then, let's find a less stuffy place to practice. Double salt licorice flavor? How evil can Mag get? Brain, Talon's on the loose, and it's only a matter of time before he finds Uncle Gadget. You're still with him, right? Oh. Uh, find Uncle Gadget and keep Sheila close. And a technical genius. It's true, one man can have it all. Talon, has Gadget been dealt with? Technically, no. Never mind. The rest of the drones are moving into position. I'm handing control of your drone to Mad Cat. What? No! I've got like five more minutes. Come on. Fine. But I don't want to hear another word out of you. And if you fail, I'll make sure I never hear another word out of you. For real! Any last words, Gadget? Perfect! This place is full of air! Full of air! Full of air! Wowzers! That echo will add incredible production value to my greeting, don't you agree? You've reached... Who goes there? Go, go, Gadget, thermal vision! Ah! Spray! That's no way to treat Miss Chanson! Go, go, Gadget, peace offering! Strange, I thought I'd turn my thermal vision off. No matter. I'm ready for my next lesson, Diva. I'll teach you a lesson. Wonderful. Are you a professional voice coach as well? More of a professional pain in the... Hey, watch out for that giant mosquito. This is Australia, so it's probably deadly. Go, go, Gadget, mosquito net. Falls over the crowd. Ugh, I am so sick of you droning on him. Yes! I am the greatest mad agent ever! Time's up, Talon. Mad Cat's in control. Any word on Gadget? <laughs> really? So you failed me again? Inspector Gadget, go go gadget, glass of water, method acting, thermal vision, peace offering. God! Epic battles and grand finales? I think I finally get why the opera is awesome. Except the singing part. <laughs> Good work, Gadget. You single-handedly took down the entire drone network. And because of you, the proverbial fat lady sings. Because of him? Oh, I can't. My voice! I'm lazy! Please! Wowzers, she's at a loss for words. Over what an amazing student I was. Oh, me! Oh! Once again, you failed me, Talon. Your bumbling has destroyed my entire drone network. 
I should have let Mad Cat do everything. Aw, what's the matter, Uncle Claw? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> Sunlight maximized, CO2 to oxygen balanced, wind velocity light, photosynthesis is optimal. Now for the real fun, testing the water pH. Wowzers, Penny. I didn't know you had such a way with plants. It's less of a way and more of an expertise in botanical sciences. My hot peppers will bring me garden show glory. Well, green thumbs do run in the family. I'm known to be quite the plant whisperer myself. The trick is to treat plants like humans. These ones are small, so treat them like babies. What they need is motivation and love. And by that you mean light water and carbon dioxide, right? Of course not. Plants, like babies, are prone to sunburns. Go, go, Gadget sunscreen. <gasps> this one looks like it needs a little fun. Hop, hop. Huh? Oh, and this one looks tired. Does someone need a lullaby? rock a bye plenty, you're a treetop. Who's a cute plenty, Wenty? Goochie goo. You like tickles? Go, go, Gadget, plant tickler. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Gadget. But my prized hot peppers are in good hands. My hands. <laughs> Gadget. Hiya, Chief. My plucky little sunflower. Uh, you've got a mission. Mad botanists have developed a plant mutagen that can turn everyday plants into weapons of mad destruction. Your mission is to stop mad before green goes mean. This message will self-destruct. You came to the right agent, Chief. With my plant whispering abilities, we'll nip this problem in the butt. <laughs> eh, I've had worse. Why? With my new mad plant mutagen, every ficus will be a dicus. Every palm tree will be a palm tree. Every deadly nightshade will be a... a, a, a an even deadlier nightshade. <laughs> with weaponized plants, the world will be overgrown with mad. Now remember, only one drop per plant. This mutagen is incredibly hard to produce. I've already lost 15 mad scientists today. Yep, one drop. Got it. And I happen to know the perfect place to start. <laughs> Soon Metro City will be devoured by my Venus die trap. You didn't like that one? Ah, you know nothing about black comedy. Nothing! <laughs> How many prize pepper plants can Penny plant before prize pepper plant plants Penny? <laughs> None. Hmm. Huh. Maybe one more drop. Or two. Or four. Or ten. There's only one way to tell if man's gotten to this tree. Follow my lead and play it cool. Oh, well, hello, Mr. Tree. It's a fine day. To be a leafy green mad agent, go, go, gadget, herbaceous handcuffs. Whoa, now those are prize winning hot peppers. Wait, no. No, 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 Magnify! My hot pepper plant! Talon? Uncle Gadget, we have to... Play it cool, Penny. This tree is about to confess. Brain, keep Uncle Gadget safe. I'm gonna chop Talon down to size and save my plant. Oh? <gasps> and the city, of course. <laughs> This plaque says you've been here for years. What a convenient alibi for a tree. Oh. Toss more, my pretty boar! <laughs> Talon, what's taking so long? You only manified one plant. <laughs> yeah, but wait till Penny sees it. Coins can't see, Talon. Now get back to the plan. I'll be watching. 
Keep peppering the city with peppers, you overgrown compost pile! Ah! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> overgrown compost pile was supposed to be a compliment! Ah! I hate play! I'll teach Talon to mess with my peppers. As soon as I find him, I'm gonna... What? <laughs> hey, Pen. Thanks for breaking my fall. Your fall isn't the only thing I'm gonna break. No one touches my plants except me. And Uncle Gadget. And the judges at the gardening shows. Ah, you know what I mean. Your plant was just the beginning. Soon all the plants will... Uh, will... Oh, no. The plant mutagen. I must have dropped it at the top. Uncle Claw's gonna freak if I don't get it. Then think what he's gonna do when I get it first. You take the stairs, Pen. I'll take the rocket elevator. You're right, Brain. This tree is a hard nut to crack. Go, go, Gadget interrogation lap. It's bad cop time, Mr. Tree, and I'm a very bad cop. In fact, I'm the worst cop in the history of the world. Exhausted. Talon, look out! <laughs> I'm not falling for that, Penny. Face it, you're always gonna be one step behind you! Exactly. <laughs> uh, uh <laughs> let's never speak of this again. Time to make up my favorite plant parts, shoots, and leaves. Uh, it's been divine competing with you, but it's time for me to branch out. Ah! Stop! I know, stop and smell the roses. Kind of obvious, but... Mr. Tree, you saved us. I knew you'd turn over a new leaf. See, Brain? I told you I was the plant whisperer. Trees love me. Now, I'd like to make you an honorary HQ agent, Mr. Tree. Or is it Mrs. Tree? Another great math plan, Talon! Hey, I don't make the plans. I just execute them. Whoa! Or should I say, you're going to be executed by them. Oh, hey! The drop dropper! Oh, man, I do everything right. Ah! Is that all you got? <laughs> ah! How do you like them peppers, Talon? Ah! Now, Mr. Tree, you can't be an official agent until you repeat the HQ pledge. I, Mr. Tree, solemnly swear. Brain, you can't repeat the pledge. You only speak dog. Trousers. That is one hideously ugly mutated mad plant. Wait, the plant whisperer can help you be beautiful again. Sorry about this, but I'd be terrible plant food. <laughs> Brain? What are you wearing? Oh, revoltingly deformed plant! Where are you? Oh, hello, Penny. Wowzers, your plant has really grown up. As the plant whisperer, I have to remind you that growing plants, like teenagers, need encouragement. Let me show you. Go, go, gadget, inspirational quotes. <laughs> Must be overly sensitive. Teenagers can be very unpredictable. 
Well done, Gadget. You succeeded in stopping Mad once again. And I couldn't have done it without a little help from... my plant whispering abilities. Now, where did that hideous mutant dandelion dog plant go? We have to work on its self-esteem issues. Well, at least Talon got to try my prized peppers. You failed again, Talon. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> 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 